Namibia and Cycling Federation welcomes you to Cycling in Namibia, a country that offers a diverse array of landscapes teeming with wildlife. Join us on the ride as we reflect on the key cycling events held in Namibia in 2022. Since the first bicycle was produced in 1817 in Germany, cycling technology has progressed with leaps and bounds. What was initially a means of transport has evolved into a multifaceted industry globally. Over the past 20 years, mountain biking has been the fastest growing sport in the world. An independent means of travel making the world your playground. Namibia, with all its natural beauty and splendor, offers numerous cycling events annually for local, international, professional and recreational participants of all ages. Our reflection on 2022 was a brilliant year for cycling, for a milestone for NCF, a giant leap for Namibia as a whole. 2022 was a, was a great year for me personally, but I think for Namibia as well, participating internationally with a, with a national team. I'm part of the All Black Girls, uh, All Mutual Humanity EB uh, cycling team, which did that NetBank Desert Dash 22. In 2022, Namibia offered 16 road cycling events. For the first time, the Pupkiewicz Megabill Tour de Windhoek has been held in February. After some good rains, Namibia is showing its pretty green face. Complete with race commissaires, team support vehicles and points to be won for best sprinters and king of the mountain riders, this was a stunning first day of racing. The Tour de Windhoek Light caters for young and old, an opportunity to get a tour feeling without having to race in a team.
This is Martin Fryer, no other than the winner of the 1130 kilometer Munga race in South Africa and having this beautiful, beautiful bicycle here in front of yeah. us. So I'll hand over to Dan Craven first, uh, a very, very popular, famous name in cycling in Namibia. Um, just to explain to us a little bit what happened, then Martin, it's over to you to tell us your experience of the Munga last weekend in South Africa. Leonard Martin, Namibian cycling legend, sporting legend, said two years ago that this guy was going to win the Munga. And on his first try, I mean 1,130 kilometers, first try, insane in the best possible way. <laughs> you know, like putting uh, Namibia on the map, like such the biggest ultra event in Southern Africa by like a country mile. And, you know, look at his smile and he just sort of did I, it with I a smile. I can't stop smiling, yeah, because it, it really just is. I mean, if I think about, about like you said, Leonard, um, just pinpointing me and saying this is I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you to this event and you're just gonna win it back then I was like oh, I mean I, yeah that's nice I, I, I'd love to try it <laughs> and then this year just coming together um, Leonard just pushed the, the entry actually into my hand and said okay you're doing it this year so I was like oh okay okay yeah, let's, let's actually do this and then I mean it just the last few weeks just coming together and and also following i mean following dan and and how you've been developing your bikes i mean that's 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 also a couple of years in the running i mean that's not something that just started this year it's something that maybe has come more public this year mm. and being able to then then take a namibian handcrafted bike to south africa and and ride it to a victory there has is really just i mean Namibian rider, Namibian bike, and and taking it to that stage was yeah just incredible. Yeah. Uh, so from this year, we we've said more than once before that 2022 has been an exceptional year for Namibian cycling, on many various different facets. And now, Martin, you put the crown on top of it with this handcrafted bicycle, which has been manufactured about 200 kilometers from here in Omaruru, mm. by a factory which Dan Craven had the vision to establish. Then just maybe just tell us a bit more of this bike and what your vision with this well, I mean, bicycle is. This we've been we've been building bicycles in Omururu for five years, but we've we've basically been hiding away from the public eye because no one expects beautiful bicycles to come out of Namibia, never mind a tiny little town like Omururu. So we had to build things that were like at a really high level before we could tell people about it. So we started way back in 2017 and we launched this year and the fact that Martin just grabs my personal bike and says, no, I want to do the Munga on it is just, <laughs> I don't know, just all kinds of amazing and just, you know, I mean, I, I gave it to you to, yeah. to test ride. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, yeah, if you want to do the Munga How with it. How many kilometers have you ridden yourself with this bike? Oh, about 0 0.1 kilometers. Definitely less than me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have literally, I built this bike for myself. I've been dreaming about this bike for about a, more than a year. And I literally have ridden it around a car park, like a parking lot in two circles, because it went to a show in London. It was on show in London. And I came back and basically two days after I came back, Martin rocked up in Omururu and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna test ride it. And I was like, you know, I. I know I like it, but I don't know if anyone else would like it. And, you know, next thing we know, he's not only deciding to ride the Munga on it, but like also winning it. Let's, you need to share your accolades there, Martin, for this 1,129 kilometers on your Garmin. How long did it take you? It took me 50, 56 hours, if how I remember sleep? correctly. How much sleep or how little? Well, with this beautiful bike, I didn't want to spend time in a bed I, I was hoping to spend all my time on the bike <laughs> um, no I, I slept an hour and a half of which I think one of the hours was a bit forced <laughs> um, and yeah so 56 hours uh, one and a half hours of sleep um, and yeah. All of Namibia was watching. All of Namibia was watching. I'm, I'm still, I've, people I, I've never met come to me now, say they've been following my dot. Uh, they were watching me race and, and it's just incredible how, how, a, how a nation and a, a community, a cycling community can stand behind 
behind a rider that is representing a, a, a country. And I mean, I'm, this is now me I'm talking about, but there were there's other achievements this year that happened where where the entire cycling community of Namibia was just an absolute joy and and jubilation of, of what has been achieved for Namibia cycling in general, not just for the specific rider. So um, to have been just a small fraction part of that with Amunga and seeing the support as I mean, it just, yeah, it really shows the community of Namibia as well. And um, I mean, what, what the NCF and what, what the entire community um, is getting together with. So. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> in my, I mean, I started racing in 1999 and <laughs> I've not seen a single year anything close to this year, what, what Namibian athletes achieved on the bicycle. And I mean, you know, I basically completely retired last year so like I'm out of the loop and seeing the youngsters come through and sort of take not up one notch like multiple notches and like you know the Commonwealth Games bronze medal from Alex and yeah. Vera just winning every second race she did in fourth place in Commonwealth <laughs> Games and then you topping it off at the Mungo is just like I don't know it's like everyone got more and more excited yeah. and with, with, with the ultra race there's this thing called dot watching where you have a, a chip on you that's connected to a satellite and you can watch online where these guys are going. And I mean, we were just, we had this WhatsApp group and people were just getting so excited and messaging <laughs> at all times of the day. Just like, look at the dot thing, that guy's in front again. It's just like, oh, I mean, it was like jumping up and down. It was amazing. No, on behalf of the Namibian Cycling Federation, thanks to both of you, Martin and Dan, for putting Namibia up even more on the international map of cycling let's be proud celebrate our achievements at this beautiful netbank desert dash finish here in Swakopmund. Yeah. what yeah. better way to do these things yeah. i wish you a merry merry christmas happy holidays thank and you let's and build on these successes in future ah, and thank you to you Axel. Yes. <laughs> like you, everything Axel. you're doing like uh, easy uh, we are one big family In 2022, there were 58 registered mountain biking events held across Namibia. Many firsts for me, um, but yeah, um, I'm so grateful for everything that happened this year. I did my first ladies team dash, so it was really awesome for me, teamwork, togetherness and building friendships. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, cycling is a, it's a, it's an amazing sport and uh, we wanted, always wanted to participate. And uh, we drew so much attention by being the, all, uh, the first all-black female team in Namibia. Well, make no mistake how important this is for the sports-mad nation of Namibia. Namibia. This man, if he wasn't before, will be a household name in Vitruk and beyond. This is a massive achievement for a nation that consistently punches above its weight. Of course, had... So instead, he built his own trails course in his backyard. Oh, he does it his own way. It's a super exciting day of cycling here, live from Swakopmund in the middle of December. And with me I've got our cycling VIPs of the year 2022. I must announce ladies first the VVIP, which is Vera Loza. A good friend of mine as well, Vera, has just recently won the 94.7, the most prestigious road race in South Africa next to the Cape Town Cycle Tour. She's also on the Swiss Epic. I was um, pleased enough to be there as well. Third overall, but then you won the Wine to Wells. Sorry, I'm on the Wine to Wells. Correct. Thanks, Vera. Mm -hmm. And then she's also the reigning Namibian road champion and the marathon champion for Namibia. And then Alex Miller, he is the bronze medalist, the first medal Namibia ever won in cycling at Olympic Games or Commonwealth Games 
He's also a reigning um, mountain bike and cross country champion for Namibia. So these are all stars. And by the way, I neglected to say Vera also came fourth in the road race at the Commonwealth Games this year. So we're looking back at a super exciting year of cycling in Namibia. And I would just like to get our experts and pros to share some of the experiences firsthand with you here. So maybe Vera, you can just explain to us a bit about what made this year so special for you. I think this year, for me personally, sporting-wise, it just worked out. Um, I think I broke the ice with the fourth place in the sprint at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. And from there, I had a super good ride at the Swiss Epic. Um, from there, I went to the Marathon World Championships in Denmark, where I got a really good ninth place against the best in the world. Putting Namibia on the map, it was amazing. Um, people don't always know where Namibia is, but they will learn it now. And then from there, I kept on going, had some good races in Spain, came back to South Africa, won one to Wales, won 94.7 ride Joburg on the road. So yeah, everything together, it was a fantastic year for me, sporting-wise. Um, and I hope I can add on to that next year. <laughs> yeah, this year, um, I must say, I really enjoyed this year. Uh, also, being a lot in Europe, uh, being able to take part in the World Cups and that, um, always, always very special as a Namibian to be able to race um, in the European calendar, um, and then of course, yeah, highlights, highlights of the year, definitely the Commonwealth Games. Um, I myself was was not expecting to come away with a bronze medal. Um, I didn't think it was possible, but then yeah, it just goes to show you just have to put your head down and uh, get the get the work done. So. Um, I must say, it's always it's always such an honour putting on our Namibian Namibian jersey. It looks it looks so cool. We always get so many compliments um, compliments for it. So, yeah, that was definitely definitely the highlight of the season. Yeah. Comment about the Netbank Desert Dash. You won the two person category a few hours ago. Yes, of course. Um, the Netbank Desert Dash is always. Always the last event of the year, um, always a good event. Um, managed to team up with Mark Pritson from South Africa. Uh, race went really well, happy with how, how everything went. And big thanks to Nedbank for putting so much effort into not just this event, but into cycling in Namibia in general. And um, to that, I must also add like all the support we see from NCF and that you guys do a lot of work and we really appreciate it. And it's all, um, it's all volunteer work and without it, I mean, we wouldn't be where we are now, I think. Where does the future of Namibian cycling lie for you? I think the future is definitely bright. Um, we need to get lots of people on bikes. Um, also in poorer regions in Namibia, I'd love to see that. I'd like to see more women on bikes. Um, and I think then we can achieve a lot if we just keep on working together and do it as a team because alone you can't achieve anything. BMX is a very high energy component of cycling. The passion for the sport was inspired by the late Hella Rust, who passed away early in 2022, yet her legacy will live on forever in the Namibian cycling communities. 2022 was a big year for BMX riders. We from the Cycling Federation wanted to give back to the communities and do something in terms of our core objective of doing grassroots BMX cycling development and we've come up with this um, town, Otapi, which is only about 30 kilometers away from the Angolan border, um, about more than 800 kilometers away from our capital city. So we've developed this track. We are hosting the BMX Namibia National Championships here. You will see in the background the lots of enthusiasm. And us for the Namibian Cycling Federation, I think it's a dream come true that we can host something like this in a remote community and give back to the people living in this remote place and give the kids uh, a chance to develop the skill which others are not as privileged to do so. For R&B Namibia, um, we've really been invested in, 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 this, uh, in this program. For us, it's all about growing talent, uh, growing Namibia. And absolutely no better way to, to grow that talent than to see these youngsters on the bike. Uh, as you'd know, it's more than riding. It's keeping the kids uh, off the bad stuff, keep them on the good, healthy stuff. Welcome to this official inauguration ceremony of the NCF Otapi BMX track. 
I am very much overjoyed to oversee this facility being opened. Cycling is a growing sport um, and I'm really, really glad to see that it's not just growing in Vinduk, Axel has spoken to it. Decentralization is really key to us. Yoho! Be this track officially open! So I like the bike itself and I like this industry and I'll keep this developing the community in the entire Namibia. This year really made an effort to get builders and quotes and everything in to have this track built. The MTB Schools League has gained tremendous popularity amongst the youth of Namibia, which is an ideal platform for up-and-coming riders to get the taste of mountain biking. The Schools League, as the name says, it consists of five races and a Schools League final where schools from all over the country can come and compete. It aims the development of, of cycling um, at a high level of, uh, than, than BMX. We try and get kids from all levels, all grades. We start at under six and goes up to under 18. All, all kids that obviously go to school still can compete. We supported the pay cycling group, Physically Active Youth. We donated six bicycles this year uh, with the help of uh, Rock and Rod Mountain Bike Club and Ventuk Pedal Power. We have an average of 130 to 150 kids per event. The likes of Alex Miller, Kevin Lowe that you've talked to just now, Daniel Hahn, they all started off at Schools League and yeah, you know where, where they are now. Um, Alex cycling internationally very well. Um, Kevin that competed overseas this year. Yeah, we have quite some upcoming kids now in the under 16 category. The aim is on fun and learning how to compete, sportsmanship, um, yeah, mainly being outdoors, enjoying the bicycle, uh, knowing that there's other things than laptops and uh, telephones, Instagram and that type of thing. So yeah, that's what we, what we try and do with the support of FNB, that is the, the main sponsor. Over and above the actual sport of cycling itself, cycling also holds numerous other advantages that contribute to benefit Namibia and its people. On the topic of transport and urban development, the city of Vintuk in collaboration with various other entities introduced cycling and walking lanes and offered riding lessons to youth and students. Like she said, my name is Horishka Reis. I'm a technical advisor for the GIZ transport program. I would just like to acknowledge the presence of our um, deputy mayor, his worship, um, Councillor Wapigeni, um, and his fellow um, councillors as well, as well as the acting CEO of the city of Ventuk, Muskomali. Thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time to join us for this event. Um, it may seem small, but it is a really important event for us. We've been um, training the students over a course of three months last year. So, um, and finally we get to hand over the bicycles to them. We trust that now they're able to navigate the road, um, the road environment and are able to cycle safely. So we'd like to hand over the bicycles to them today to um, become a part of our cycling community. So please feel um, welcomed and um, thank you for being here. In 2022, the cycling industry provided in excess of 500 full-time and part-time job opportunities. There are approximately 7,000 Namibian cyclists and an estimated 150 million Namibian dollars spent in the country in 2022 as a direct result of the cycling industry. 
Job creations include bike salesmen, bike mechanics, bike riding coaches, and race connoisseurs. And in tourism, there are various bike tour and safari companies offering preset or tailor-made events across the country. Fat bike tours have become a very popular leisure activity at the Namibian coast. Numerous cycling events have an economic ripple effect, creating revenue for Namibia such as flights, restaurants, accommodation and many, many more. We dropped in to visit Namibia's very own e-bike factory and workshop, located in Katatura, Vintuk. We started 2015, we started the company, not initially with the idea to become a factory. We just, we imported bikes, we thought we can help the commuter in Vintuk, that was the main aim. Um, to offer more sustainable mobility. And then as we went along, we started realizing there's a big gap in the tourism industry, there's a big gap in conservation, all for using more sustainable alternatives for, for either patrolling or doing you know, activities on the ground. So we started going into that market, then COVID came, everything shut down, we started doing deliveries. So we started offering with e-bikes, we started employing guys actually from uh, the underprivileged areas, um, giving them jobs, doing more um, greener deliveries, if you want to call it that. And then during that time, during COVID, we realized there's also a really big problem with supply. So to get stock in from wherever we were ordering our stock from. Um, and we thought, why not start building our own very unique Namibian bicycle for, to cater to all these needs, to cater to all these things we were previously doing, but also to open a new market for a Namibian product. I weld frames using aqua welding and gas welding. Uh, actually, we build the cargo bikes and we fix the bikes. Uh, other bikes, they are using aluminum. Well, these cargo bikes is stainless steel, uh, round tubes. We cut them, we bend them ourselves and join them ourselves. The idea is our bikes are way more robust and durable than the stuff you get off the shelf from China. Plus the recent development in terms of supply chain, currency exchange, also puts a, puts a lot of additional um, costs on importing parts. And another big bonus obviously is that we want to create local employment. We want to get the knowledge here. We want to educate people what are e-bikes, why are e-bikes so much more affordable faster and efficient than for example taxis or cars so yeah and we recharge our bicycles with solar ideal in namibia 360 days a year sunshine so our form of mobility is totally carbon emission free environmental friendly and additional benefits of our e-bikes is also that for the with the battery for example you can use the battery to recharge your cell phone, your laptop, you can even power a small grid. Well, it's hectic here. So this is basically the main hub for deliveries for e-bikes for Africa because we also do deliveries in as much as we do rentals and sales. Um, so this is where the riders come to charge their batteries, um, to easily move or maneuver from CBD to, um, to Karitura and back and forth as the deliveries go. So basically what happens is clients contact us via WhatsApp or me and I have to organize either with any one of those beautiful faces that you guys can see up there um, and then they go back and forth with the deliveries as many as we get as we do get a lot of requests. Sometimes we have to do like a hundred packages in one day. It can be challenging but with the riders on our side there's nothing that we cannot accomplish. For cycling in Namibia um, I would obviously like it to see grow even more. Um, we've got an excellent committee um, which, which obviously do their best to, to enhance and to get as much traction to the Namibian cycling. Um, but I think, I think in future we'll definitely see more Olympians, uh, cycling Olympians from Namibia. Like I said, the youngsters, we really have some phenomenal ta talent in this country. And I would like them just to carry on and just not to give up and uh, you know, reach, reach the highest of heights. Thanks to various dynamic role players and the dedicated Namibian Cycling Federation leadership, international eyes are taking notice of Namibia on the cycling stage. Globally, after the Soccer World Cup, cycling is the most viewed sport in the world, being the Tour de France. Thank you for joining us on the ride where you could witness the health and benefits of cycling. Our motto is, health is wealth.